And Black History Month is you know, a time for me which I really enjoy in the calendar. It's an opportunity to both reflect and look backwards, but also get energised around the journey ahead and what that could be like. I'm incredibly humbled uh, and feel incredibly privileged to have the opportunity to have that conversation, both in terms of where we've come from and where we're heading with Dr. Mandela. As an advocate around diversity, inclusion, equity, equality, you know, a strong advocate on women's rights, Dr. Mandela couldn't be the most perfect individual for us to spend this time with. I always question when you celebrate Black History Month, how long is it going to take us? to truly achieve racial parity in society that we so desired. Because it seems as I look at the trajectory of fighting for freedom as black people and different ethnic groups, we seem to be taking perhaps three steps forward, but then we take another two steps backward. What is causing that? And I do think that we have to have a sustained effort in terms of fighting racism and social injustice in society. It can't be these ebbs and flows. And I know that a lot of us Black people, especially Black women, feel they are bent out. They can't talk about this issue anymore. And that uh, basically, as Mackenzie says, it's going to take women 110 something years for us to take to gain parity in society which means when we come to race, it's going to take us long. Because as much as women have made gains in the workplace, women of color have not made gains in many sectors of the corporate ladder. And so if they have not, very few women are going to advance to the level that you are, Pam, because the pipeline basically is empty. And we need to do something about that. And for me, one of the pages that I take from my father and his colleagues, when they decided they made a personal choice to fight for the freedoms of people in South Africa. I've never heard them once say, I'm tired. I'm not going to speak about this issue anymore. They knew that they had to persevere and be persistent. They were prepared to give it all for the freedom that we enjoy today. I think it's the same in the UK, it's the same in the US. Martin Luther King, I never heard Martin Luther say, say, you know, I'm tired. Now it's time for white people. He said, I am moving forward. Tired or not, I'm going to fight until the end.